Hello everyone, this is Aimee Buchanan with OnlineBusinessTrainer.com. This is what this tutorial is about, where you can go and create a free website for yourself that is relatively easy and it doesn't even require any HTML. Okay, so this is where you're going to go. You're going to go to your browser, excuse me, and type www.webly.com, W-E-E-B-L-Y dot com this is not an affiliate or anything okay this is a free website so you're going to go here to the bottom left and enter any username password and email accept the terms and click on sign up and start creating okay the first thing you're going to come to is what you want the title of your new site to be so i'm going to call this online business trainer to start with and you can change that later. You can call it whatever you want to call it, obviously. Okay, so first let's take a look at what you have here. This is pretty much a drag and drop type building uh, system, okay? So what you're gonna uh, review above here is in the tab called Elements, this is where you will find uh, the content that you want to enter into your website okay and is divided into basic content which is a paragraph with a title a paragraph with a picture a picture uh, the next tab within the elements is the multimedia this is what you will use and some of these repeat right some of the elements will repeat but this is where you will use items that um, such as YouTube you can add YouTube videos here you can add an audio player and uh, this file element here allows you to upload uh, PDF files to your website too. Um, you also have another element called revenue and there's other elements here too. You can also even add a feed reader, uh, again HTML and the contact. So you can go through all of these elements here and uh, have fun with uh, some of the stuff you can add um, to your website but we're gonna build a really simple one today. Okay, the next tab that we see is the designs and this is where you can actually select what the layout of your website is going to be and this is really cool because after you have designed your website, if you decide that you want to change the look and feel of it, because this is pretty much all built in a template, you can just simply click on whatever template you want, let's say this one, and see your entire website content and what it would look like with that template attached. Okay, so the, this is actually, um, this one right here is the one we're going to use to build our example today. Another tab that we see here is pages. You can go to pages here and this is where you will add the different pages within your website such as a home page, a contact page, an entry page, etc. Let's um, start with new page here. Uh, we're going to add a home, oops, uh, not a home page, but a home page. Um, we don't want to uh, password protect it. Actually, this is a, an upgrade to password protect your site. We're going to make sure that it shows in the navigation, which is your menu at the, along the top or the left, depending on the template that you picked. And uh, uh, we're going to save this home page. So if you want to add or edit your pages, you can go back here. Um, let's say we want to edit this uh, page here. Okay, what you want to do is select it and change the name of it. We're going to change this name to contact me. Okay, and we're going to do save. So now that page has been changed to contact me. Okay, so this is where you start to build your pages. Let's start, I'm going to start with the home page. And then we're going to do a quick entry page in the contact area. You want to first select the page that you want to work on, okay? And the first thing that I always uh, do is go ahead and drag in the column divider. You can see the two columns here, okay? And the first thing we're going to do is throw a picture. Oops, just all you have to do is just drag it. Let's see how that square turned red that's when you can release your mouse and your picture will be dragged into that space okay then you can go to the next column here and let's say that you want to add a paragraph here 
Okay, and we also want to add a title to your website and you want to put that title above it. Okay, here's where you would put um, your home page if you wanted to add a title to it, right? This, this is my home page. Okay, when you want to add a picture, all you got to do is double click on that picture. I'm going to add just a picture of myself here. Okay, and you can resize that however you want to. You can even resize your picture if you want. Just drag that red um, that red button there. I'm going to keep it fairly small. And then here's where you would start entering the information about your page, okay? And you can You also have access to a quick HTML editor here, so you can change your uh, colors of the text if you want to. Um, let's say you wanted your text to be, uh, I don't know, orange or blue or what have you. You can change all that within the template. Say okay, and you can even add a link. Okay, uh, let's say I wanted this page to be my link. You'd highlight it and click on this link button here. And um, you want that link to be either a website, then you'd click here and enter the website name that you want that to link to. If you were going to make this a link to just my main website for now so that you can see what the link looks like. There you go. Okay. Now you also want to uh, preview your site. It's very easy to preview your site. Okay. All you have to do is click on this orange button up here. Okay, it's going to, first it's going to ask you that, well, this is only going to happen once, excuse me, you want to make sure that you add your website address. This is what you will give people, uh, the address that you will give people to come visit your website, unless you want to, um, unless you have a domain and you want to point to it, okay? If not, you can register a new domain through them, but click continue here and it's going to give you an update when the website has published. Okay, it's also going to encourage you to register a domain. You can just bypass all the stuff and just say no by clicking on that X. It'll automatically give you the link to your website. Okay, so you should only see that one original uh, pop-up box once. So click on your website here and here it is, okay? Okay, the only thing that you will see with a free Wibbly account is that they have their um, their free link down here, and that's all. But uh, you can always add a text uh, element to the bottom of each of your pages that will sit right here in the white space that has your contact information if you want to. So this little line right here doesn't bother me at all, so I, I a lot of my clients use that. If you want to go back to your um, management system, just uh, this should have opened in a new window, so you can just close it and it'll bring you back to where you were. Just click on that X, okay? And let's go real quick and design a contact page, okay? So we have the home page. Now you wanna click on the contact page. Remember, you have to click on the page you wanna first uh, create. Um, and we're, we're gonna go to the more tab and drag the contact form down here. Okay, and it's automatic. And here's where you can put, please, oh, it's loading. And it already comes with a form mailer and everything that you can use. So, um, so you can manage the fields up here, like you can hide, um, let's say, this is the name field, etc. You can hide the comment field. Okay, so only the name and email address will show. Um, all you have to do to make this an entry page is just uh, drop in a uh, paragraph. You can use the HTML editor to um, make that text whatever color you, you need to make it, and that's fine. It'll change it for you. Okay, so uh, that's it. That's how you build a page with Wibbly. Again, this is Aimee Buchanan at OnlineBusinessTrainer.com and thank you very much for watching.